So man, ho ho ho, Merry Christmas Eve 2023. Just figured I'd make a video, tell everybody Merry Christmas, and I had a thought like, probably the fourth from the last trip in out west, I was like, I gotta do a video about this. I just figured we'd quite the time to do it because I actually have something being trucked in from Chicago, Illinois for Amy for Christmas. So it just kind of made me think because I appreciate all the truckers out there. So, wildly enough, you probably don't think about it a lot, but like, we don't get our stuff, our commodities, our foods, our goods, our fuel without the truckers. So, you gotta say a big thanks to the truckers out there. And what really made me think of it is like the last four times we have traveled, we were out far, Texas, Phoenix. And um, when you're traveling that far and you got a couple of days of travel, you don't need to pull off like an all nighter and pull 24 hour straight drive. You go 12, 14, 16 hour and you, uh, you find a good spot and you sleep. Well, if you think about it, when you're driving a rig like mine, it's 78 feet long, just like a tractor trailer. And there's not always a lot of good spots to fit or sleep where you're safe or can sleep without one eye open. So, like, it's sketchy. So, it made me think about all the truckers where they're traveling and they're doing the same thing. And you're going across country out the Midwest further, even in the really in the Northeast. Like if you go up around New York and Baltimore, you got all those, those uh, interstates um, around the cities that there's nowhere to pull off and sleep. And if there is, it's so fucked up. It's so messed up. Excuse my French that you got to worry about flats and messing up your wheels or bobbing out because they're ruts from the shoulders being so torn up. So, just think about that next time you guys are driving down the road, traveling. Think about just the truckers or us when we're traveling. And we're trying to sleep. And you're obviously trying to be safe for your family, for your goods, your race cars, whatever you're traveling with. Um, and your equipment to not destroy it. And you're worried about making sure you, uh, you um, can get some good sleep somewhere where you don't have to worry about being robbed or your stuff being stolen out of your trailer or broken into while you're sleeping or hit and backed into while you're sleeping. I've had that happen where I've been in a truck stop, really tight truck stop and woke up and next thing you know, my trailer was hit on the side. So it's just something don't think about, but there's really not enough truck stops with enough parking for people that are traveling across country, especially second and third shift that, you know, eight, nine o'clock, I guess maybe when they're, um, their time elapses whether they're not allowed to drive any longer or, you know, when their log books say they're, they're timed out and they got to pull over and sleep and it usually ends up being second or third shift. Those guys are full house in the truck stops and on. There just isn't anywhere to park. And I'm hopefully one day along with all the crazy other things that are going on with this country, maybe they'll be able to create better spots for the truckers to be able to pull off and sleep and have places to park and also we will too when we're traveling and other other uh, people doing camping and recreational sports because it's tough it really is and anybody that travels will know exactly what i'm talking about dude i find myself in walmart parking lots and then sometimes you see a walmart you sneak into a walmart or an area where there's you see a walmart sign you pull up and you're like yes and it's got height restricted barriers to go in where you can't be over 12 foot one to get in you're like I did have one time the police knock on my door, actually the very last race of the season, heading home from Phoenix. I pulled off in a Walmart area where I thought it was a good spot, and it had that overhead area where you couldn't make it in. So I pulled on the side, which was a loading area, and it said no truck parking. Well, I'm like, I don't have to say anything. I'm not a truck. I'm an RV. So uh, sure enough, 3 o'clock in the morning, it's police. Hey, man, what are you doing? I'm like, uh, just park to sleep. You know, Walmart's always say you can just walk to park. Why do you park out there with the other trucks and trailers? I'm like, well, they're pickup trucks with little trailers, 10 foot tall. I'm 13.6, and look, the sign right there, yellow. Oh, I didn't realize that. Wow. Well, you're blocking this guy's loading area, so can you move? Okay. Go, go down the street, park over next to the 
you know, the Waffle House, there's a spot over there. All right. So I had an instance where I had to pull off to sleep, getting woken up in the middle of the night where I thought I was going to be in a safe spot. And you're always worried whether or not you're going to be in an area where you're going to have somebody knock on the door or try and rob you. You just never know. But I've slept in some sketch spots and just been like, well, I'm a strong guy. I take, take care of my own. I make sure I'm good. Sleep my underwear on. So if I got to get up in a jiff, I got some, I got some, you know, cover my ass and uh, allow me to get up without, you know, looking ridiculous and uh, and not prepared. So it's just something to think about. And hopefully these roads and shoulders and things get better as uh, hopefully the country gets better throughout the next few years because it's definitely tough, tough to travel. And you think about it like the cost of of transportation is so much more money now because of fuel prices. And when you have truckers and, you know, um, companies that are transporting, UPS, whatever, have to pull off their rigs in such torn up areas and mess stuff up. It just increases the likelihood of something happening to their to their travel to your goods getting there on time just something that people don't really think about very often and and i figured anybody that travels a lot would probably be able to uh to relate because it was definitely like that a lot and you figure the last one of the season somebody beating on my doors hey move that ass all right so anyway we're not doing a whole lot of travel this week don't think we're gonna be doing anything new year's either be honest with you, we got old truck and old OG relic back on smalls. We are ready to go. We do got to bleed the brakes and <laughs> the OG. They've been sitting, man, a little spongy brake pedal. And old X2's up there. It's uh, getting Billy Briggs refreshing the motor right now, and the spare motor is being changed up a little bit to be a better fit for a spare because right now we didn't, it wasn't 100, but now it'll be 100% what we need to just they swap bullets if we have an issue. So, um, anyway, just thought I'd share that, man, and, uh, everybody travel safe. I mean, I've had a good ass couple weeks home decompressing now. I've been a movie watching Son of a Gun. I bet I put on eight, ten pounds. I'm, I'm scared to jump on the scale. I'm going to pull me a New Year's resolution, though, after Christmas dinner, and I'm going to hit the gym, hit the weights, hit the cardio. I'm going to hit it all, man, because, uh... After that drive out west, all that eating, snacking, driving, eating, snacking, come home, decompressing, gorging, watching movie after movie, flick after flick. I watch some TV on Netflix. I burn Netflix up, man. If it costs me money, I'd be broke this month. I wouldn't be able to afford the bill. So uh, I'm ready to get back after, though, after the holidays, run these things. We're going to go out and test. Go out and test. We got the OG Relic back on Smalls. Show you that real quick. And it is the exact clone of this truck now. We finally have this thing a clone, man. So it is ready to rock. With the exception of just bleeding the brakes. And these things are clones from Turbo. Yes, you have the new Hubless Turbo by Comp Turbo too. So I'll show you them real quick. It's got the new Hubless on it. It's got a new Hubless design, which believe it or not, added about a couple more horsepower, a couple hundred more horsepower which is significant with these little LS deals need to keep up with these pro charge Hemi. So definitely, um, definitely excited to get out there and start testing them together and, uh, put them out there, man, and getting something done here. Hopefully before we go back to that big tire racing, probably February or March. So everybody, Merry Christmas. Happy new year. Please go on our YouTube. If you watch this whole video and stick out the, 10 minutes of me jabbering. Go to our YouTube, like, subscribe, and follow. We need to get it built up. And please go to Chris Rankin Racing. We're almost 20,000 followers, man. Every little bit of followers help. Hopefully we can get some of these big cats like Kai and Swanson and all these guys to maybe share our stuff one day once we uh, get as popular as them. So hopefully we can get some sharing, guys. So whatever you guys can do to help us out, we really appreciate it. And uh, Chris, Chris Rankin Racing, Caden Rankin. And uh, also, if you guys don't mind checking out Northeast Unlimited's new shop that we're going to be kicking off here and opening up.
very shortly. We are going to pick and choose what we do just because my time is limited and we're going to not just take on any kind of project. So keeping that in mind, give us a call. If we like what you got, we'll work on it. We can make some fast shit. We got some fast ass LSs, man. We got almost 3,000 horsepower iron block 427 LSs between these two cars. There's almost 6,000 horsepower there on their own kill. And I know people might not believe that, but they do. And this thing broke the dyno down my shop at two, made over 2,000, shut the dyno off at like 28 pounds of boost. We run about 50 in this thing. So 46 to 50, depending upon the air and how the heat of the day. So, all right, guys. Thank you all. We appreciate you. See you all soon. Check in to uh, Street Outlaws. No Prep King season six, also January 6th. Don't miss it. It's going to be a good time. It's more fun for us toward the end of the season, but it's still nonetheless a learning, learning, learning season and a good time. With a lot of badass guys, a lot of fast-ass cars. So check it out, January 6th, Street Outlaws. And uh, don't miss it. See you guys.